are they working on something? I don't know how deep uh, you want to go on this, but are they working on things to make AI creative? Because right now I just don't see it. No, I mean, I, I think it's it's an impossibility, right? So it's like AI, uh, it, it can't think, right? I think that's what people don't completely realize. Like it can, it can think in the perspective, like let's say math, right? Like it can figure out equations and think of, of how to figure things out. It can write an article from a knowledge base it has already digested of other content. But what it can't do is create something wholly new. So even like, you know, you see like Dolly and these image um, yeah. creators. Mm -hmm. I mean, what they're doing when you put those prompts in is they're they're basing it on other art and images that they've seen previously, right? So like yeah. there's no, there's nothing new being generated from that. Um, and that's, you know, I think what people need to start looking at AI as is like, um, I don't know if you're familiar with Mechanical Turk, like it's an Amazon thing that used to happen or like, uh -uh. like anything where you're doing like, Hey, I want to do some data entry. So I'll hire 10 people online to do like chores for me and tasks, right? Like that's where AI is really going to, to win. So like recently I've been like testing out open AIs, APIs on a couple of different things. One of the most interesting things for me was actually how it could potentially replace developers. Nobody's even talking about that much as much as other stuff, but yeah. the reality is it, it can write code, but um, it only writes code based on how recent the knowledge base it has, right? So like today I was working on something in Retool, which is like a no code platform that uses JavaScript. You know, you put, you can be like, hey, code this up for me for Retool. It's It was pulling results from an older version of Retool when it was giving me the code, right? And I'm like, hey, I need the updated version. It, do, it didn't know how to, to process that information. Um, and so, you know, I've seen things similarly on the content side, right? With people writing articles where um, the sources are not reliable. Like that's that's a whole issue that's going to happen. Yeah. I think what, what we're kind of at is a situation like early search where it's like, oh, cool, search engines exist. And then all of a sudden spammers came into play and it's like, oh, something's got to happen here. The same thing's going to happen with this AI stuff where pretty soon spammers are going to figure out like, look, if I want to influence AI, all I have to do is flood the internet with articles about a certain topic with certain information, right? It's going to pick it up point. in its knowledge base, obviously. So, so what they're going to have to do is build, um, and they, they already are starting to build it like, um, fact checking type of stuff in, into oh. the algos that they're running. Um, but we're going to see pretty huge growth because the other thing I'm seeing with three kids is kids are using chat GPT to do their homework. Yeah. So like schools Which are going to have to start. Too. I would have too if I was in high school. Absolutely. So so they're going to have to start figuring out though, like how do we do plagiarism checks against this thing? There's there's going to be a whole, it's going to be interesting to watch Um, actually the, the ecosystem around AI kind of grow. And like, yeah. I think that's it. It's almost like Bitcoin early on where, mm -hmm. hey, there's this idea for a virtual currency. And then down the road, you get these ideas for like, oh, you can build stuff on this blockchain with, like uh, the ecosystem that's that's been built around the blockchain and like how you utilize that. I think that's what we're going to see around AI. Um, I think the people that are just like, oh, like this is going to write, just write content and replace content writers and replace developers or replace this or that. Like they're not really seeing what the utility is. Like copy press, what we're looking to do is can I automate content brief creation can i automate research for my writers right to make it easier um can we build a model where we have better qa and editing kind of aut some automated th that's the kind of stuff that i think is really cool and it's awesome and it mm -hmm. can save people tons of time um and that's the utility there um, i think the huge ideas um, people are just kind of getting lost on what it does